Welcome back second graders to Breezy the Teacher's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about compound words. This can be found in your reading book on page 440, almost all the way to the back. The standard that we'll be working on today is LAFS.2.L.3.4D. Use knowledge of the meaning of individual words to predict the meaning of compound words like birdhouse, lighthouse, housefly, bookshelf, notebook, and bookmark. If you don't know what a compound word is already, I want you to remember this. It is two small words that are put together to make a new word. So let's go check those out down here. The first word I have here is chalkboard. What two words do you hear in chalkboard? Over here to the right side, you can see that I broke it apart into chalk plus board. When those two words are put together, you get a compound word chalkboard. Here's the next word, notebook. When you hear the word notebook, you should hear two words there, note and book. The third word is tabletop. When you think of the word tabletop, what two words do you hear individually? If you said table and top, you are right. And the last one is a beautiful butterfly. What two smaller words do you hear within the compound word of butterfly? Good, butter and fly. Okay, let's go back to our book. Here is the introduction for compound words. It is a word that is made up of two smaller words and with that is called a compound word. It says often you can figure out what a compound word means by thinking about the meaning of the two smaller words. Here is an example right here. House plus a fly. When you put these two words together, you get house fly. Now, what do you think the word house fly means? Right here, a house fly is a fly that gets into your house. Do you see how using these two smaller words can describe how or what the larger compound word means? Awesome. Okay, here we go down to the guided practice. It says sometimes the second word in the compound word is a big clue to what the word's meaning is. For example, dog house is a house for a dog not a dog that looks like a house. That would just be silly. So here we go. It says put the two words together to make a compound word, then write the word on the new on the line, then circle the correct meaning. So here is number one. We have black plus bird. When you put those two words together, what do you get? Blackbird. So all you're going to do is write these two words, black bird without the space in between because remember when we put a compound word together it is those two words making into one word so what do you think black bird means is it a bird with black feathers or a black feather shaped like a bird if you said a bird with black feathers you are correct go ahead and circle that first description up here. I want you to think do, which one makes the most sense, okay? So here's the second one, sword plus fish. What do you get when you put them together? A swordfish, good. Go ahead and write both of these words, sword and fish, off to the side right here without the plus sign. Put them all the way together to make a compound word. So what do you think a swordfish means? A sword shaped like a fish? or a fish with a jaw like a sword. Remember, the second word can give you a big clue. Yes, it is a fish with a jaw shaped like a sword. Very good. A sword shaped like a fish would be probably ideal, but the most realistic answer is a fish with a jaw like a sword. All right, and here is number three before we go. Rattle plus snake. What word is it? What compound word? Rattlesnake. Okay, go ahead and put rattlesnake together here on the line without any spaces and think about what is the most logical meaning of rattlesnake. Is it a rattle shaped like a snake or a snake with a tail like a rattle? Look at that second word. Good. It is a snake with a tail like a rattle. Go ahead and circle that second one. After you have watched this video, go ahead and turn to page 441 on the next page and try those four problems out yourself. Good luck.